Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $98,854.17. In the past year I am up $24,509.74. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $6,900.60. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $494.34. After hours, I am up $89.56. So up over $500 today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I have Amazon, $140, $130, put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, zero. I have Amazon, $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $80. I'm selling Disney $95 co covered calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, zero. I have McDonald's, $210, $200 Put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $550. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $780. I have Verizon, $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $603. I have Verizon, $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $450. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return $1,176. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $176.77. My average cost $98.94. My total return $23,355.33. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.03. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $8,440.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $89.30. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $8,720. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $162.91. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,043.28. This is a margin account. My margin total is $89,768.74. My margin used is $58,365.74. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $9,403 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $27,893.27. The annual interest rate that I'm paying is 6.5%, 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $10.27 and I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest-free. So, another green day today, up by a little bit. Still lost quite a bit of money if we look at how much money I've lost in the last month. However, I'm making some of it back. Still, as you can see, down over $8,000 in the past month. So, I have lost quite a bit of money. 
However, I'm slowly recovering. Some of my options did expire today. I had covered calls on Amazon, SoFi, Disney, and Google. However, all of them stayed below their strike prices. So I believe Amazon had a strike price of 180 and Amazon did stay below 180. It's at 176. SoFi had a strike price of seven and a half dollars and it's below seven and a half dollars. It's at seven dollars and three cents. Disney, I believe I chose a strike price of 95. Nine, 92, right? I chose a strike price of 92. So that was pretty close, but it did stay below 92. It's at $89.30. Google, I chose a strike price of 170. And Google's below 170. It's at 162 and 91 cents. So all of my, you know, stocks, they stayed below the strike prices of my covered calls. So I still keep all of my shares while getting some extra money as premium from the covered calls. As for some changes that I made, I did get rid of my Amazon put credit spreads and replace them with some other put credit spreads um, with higher strike prices. So before I had the Amazon, I believe it was 120.110 for the strike prices for my put credit spreads, but I changed to $140 and $130 uh, for my put credit spreads. Now, as you can see, I barely did this today, so that's why my return is zero. However, by doing this, hopefully I end up getting a little bit more premium, assuming that Amazon actually does stay, you know, above 140. That way I can get the, the max profit. But we'll see. It's about two months till expiration. I also changed the strike price for my Disney calls that I'm selling. So before I, I was selling Disney, $90 calls. However, now I'm selling Disney $95 calls for my diagonal spread. Um, and I did this because Disney has been going up in the past week. So in the past week, as you can see, it's up three and a half percent. So right now it's at 89. I had a strike price of 90. It was getting a little too close for comfort. So that's why I increase it to 95. That way I have a little bit more room to work with. Um, plus if it actually does go up to 95, that means my calls, my Disney $70 calls, they're going to increase in price. So I'm going to make money off of this position. Anyways, I think that's all I have to report today. That the week is over. Um, my you know, my covered calls that I had in my positions expired and I kept all of my shares. Um, and then I made a couple small changes for my options plays. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm happy that I am slowly recovering. I'm not happy that I, you know, I'm still down over $8,000 in the past month. But, you know, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. I could be at, you know, what is it, $84,000, but instead of at 98. So... It could be worse. I'm happy with what I have for now. Um, hopefully, we'll see what happens next week. Maybe I'll go above 100K again. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. I'll keep on making more updates to let you guys know what's going to happen with my portfolio. But for now, I think this is it for this update. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.